Well, it was good to uh, good to get this week going, and uh, looking forward to the week of preparation. And uh, need to have a great week and be ready to face a, a really good, talented, well coached Ohio State football team. Well, Dane Davis has set career highs for receptions a couple times in the last few weeks. What has he done so well on the field, and how rare is it in your experience for a true freshman to contribute the way he has at that position? Well, I think, you know, Dan and that whole group is just, they're, they're working, and they've got a good energy about them, and, and I think they've got certainly confidence that they can contribute. And I think, you know, Ted Gilmore's done a heck of a job of coaching them, but they're a group that they like playing the game, and, uh, and they're doing everything they can to try to get better each day. And then when opportunities come their way, you know, they'll, they'll go compete. And it's certainly going to be, you know, tested in a different way this week. But they've uh, they've been they've been a good group to be around, and just you like the way that they approach each day. Paul, do you think your players may bring a little bit extra edge to this week after what happened against Penn State last year? No, I mean I think this, you know, this team is is uh, each year it's a, it's a different team, and you know I think you always draw in all your experiences, you know, and those who played last year, you know, will take away things from that game just like they do probably every game. But this this game is about these two teams this year. And, you know, both teams have earned the right to play in this game. And and obviously, you know, to play for the Big Ten Championship, that's a big deal. And But I think that, you know, our team's got a great focus and they've had it all year long. And, and I believe they'll continue to have that, but it's about this year, this moment. Uh, well, what are a couple of ways that Jonathan Taylor has made the most improvement over the course of the season? Well, I think, you know, anytime that, you know, there's a progression to everyone's growth and it's first being able to do it. And then I think it's to be able to do it consistently. And then, you know, throughout the year, there's always challenges and, whether it's, you know, an opponent that challenges you, whether it's, you know, uh, injury that challenges you, you know, I think he's just, he's handled, uh, he's done a good job of staying in the moment and, and handling things as it comes. And, and you know, he, he works at that and, and guys help him and he's been good. Chris, is there anything, anything unique this year about this group that stands out compared to when you've, Coach, the sh so far here at Wisconsin, this group that is unique that jumps out to you. Yeah, I think every you know every team's different. It's made up of different individuals, and and that's what's fun about it. And you know, every year you want the guys to you know continue to grow, but be themselves, and um, you know, love being around this this team. And it's made up of guys that you. You truly enjoy being around and, and guys that care about each other. But it's, uh, I think every year, every team's different. They're unique. Well, how important was it to get your defensive line healthy by this game? I know last year that, that wasn't the case for you guys. You had a couple of guys at that position banged up. Yeah, I mean, it's always important to get as many guys back and healthy and for them to get the opportunity to play. And so, you know, every time you get that, you're you're thankful. If I can follow up on that, uh, where do you, how, how athleticism on your def defensive line? Uh, how, I guess, uh, how, how does that make that them stand out? Excuse me, sorry, a little lost for words here. And then, uh, sorry, I'll I'll leave it there. Sorry. I think that. You know, certainly the athleticism's part of what they bring, but I think they're really good football players. And to be that, you know, they've got to be uh, smart. They've got to be tough. They've got to be athletic. You know, I think they, you know, they truly love playing. And I think they like playing with each other and for each other and, kind of playing off of each other. And, and so I think that's what makes them good. And, and we know we're going to be challenged this week, you know, a different way than we've been challenged all year. And, and yet they're, 
you know, guys, a number of them played a lot of football, and they're, and they're, they're looking forward to that challenge. That challenge is also an opportunity. Jason. Ohio State has won the last four or five matchups against Wisconsin. I know you weren't here for all those, but you know, there was a Big Ten championship game a few years ago. You may not think about this, but how much in your mind do you feel like Wisconsin has maybe closed the gap on Ohio State, which has traditionally been you know, the best team in the Big Ten year in and year out? Yeah, I don't don't spend any time, um, so I don't know if I give a great answer other than, um, you know, what they've done has certainly been impressive. And um, I think our job and our goal is to how can we be the best team that we can be. And the focus goes on that, and it's, it's an inward focus. And, you know, I think this group is – working at that to be the best team they can be. And that's what makes them a fun group to coach. What have you seen from, from J.K. Dobbins, Ohio State's freshman running back, and what makes him such a good player at a young age? Well, I'm certainly impressed, you know, watching him. And, and, you know, he's talented. And I think they've, you know, they've got a really good scheme that they run. And so he fits in well with that and and you're always impressed just like I'm impressed with Jonathan how he's you know able to do it you know over a stretch of a season but he's he's a really talented good football player and I think they use him well and um, that's always impressive to see I'll how optimistic are you about uh, Xander and Bradrick possibly for this weekend We'll find out. They, uh, they'll get their MRIs today or tomorrow, so we'll find out. I'm sure coming into the season you, you knew you'd have a, a great defense, but what they've been able to do, you know, ranking near the top in, in the country in so many categories, is, have they even has their dominance even surprised you guys a little bit? I don't think as a coach you're ever – you don't expect for something to happen and you're not surprised when it does. You, you don't know how it plays out. And um, – you know, I appreciate what they're doing and the way that they're doing it. And we're still playing. And so we still got more challenges in front of us. But um, you know, I think it's a group that's trying to do everything they can within their control to be the best they can be. And that's that's been fun to be around. Brent, Paul, what are some of the challenges that Ohio State poses to your offense on Saturday night? Well, I think, you know, defensively, they're, they're a really good defense. I think they've certainly uh, talented football players, and, and I think that, you know, well coached in the scheme that they're running. Uh, you know, they've got enough different things they do to, to where you've got to really be locked in and on and, and um, you know, to be able to handle all of that. Um, but I think, you know, best thing you can say about their defense, it's a really good defense, and it's – and they're playing at a high level, and, and so that's always a challenge. Well, I think you mentioned earlier that Ohio State's offense will challenge your defense in uh, different ways than you've seen this year. What, what exactly do they do that, that, uh, that you haven't seen yet? Well, I think that, you know, we haven't played Ohio State, so we haven't seen them. I think, you know, I think they certainly spread you out, and yet they can they do a great job of running the football and – it can hurt you in the passing game, you know. I think their quarterback, you know, JT is he's a great distributor. He runs their offense and and makes you have to defend the whole field. And you've got to play with great discipline, and you've got to do your part. And you know, certainly once the ball declares, you try to get as many hats to it as you can. But it forces you to really play disciplined defense. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of <clears throat> excuse me a lot of a lot of talk and hype surrounding Jonathan this year. How, how impressed have you been with he being him being such a young player? How yeah, he's been able to stay so level headed through it all? Well, you're very grateful. You, you know that's it's new for him uh, and how to handle all this. But you know it's a credit to who he is and his upbringing, and I think it's a credit to everyone around him. But you know he knows that it's. I think he certainly is proud and should be proud of what he's done. But he's not done anything on his own, and um, he's he's just a you love his approach and you love who he is as a guy, and I think that's what's enabled him to handle it. 